Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas on Tuesday, July 24th, and welcome to our video commentary. You know, there's a brand new poll that came out, Wall Street, Wall Street Journal NBC poll that just came out that has some pretty interesting news for President Trump and some fascinating news about the Democrats. Uh, but before we get to the numbers, I just wanted to say a couple of things about polls. And this is kind of a little bit of a disclaimer that I always... Uh, I always bring up, number one, it is very difficult in, in this uh, political landscape to get a good sample. And part of the problem is that uh, when you call people, very few people have landlines. So a sample has to be representative of the country. And frankly, very often is, is very difficult to do a sample when you're using cell phones. And a lot of people don't even answer their cell phones. So uh, polling has become more and more difficult these days. So uh, I think that's one of the reasons, frankly, why, why so many polls often don't even know that certain voters exist, which is what I think happened in, in 2016, when a lot of the Trump voters sort of showed up on election day and nobody really knew uh, that they existed. The other problem with polls is that when they put together a sample, there's three ways of doing it. They can do it registered voters, they could do it likely voters, and they can do it all adults. All adults is not very meaningful, frankly, not a very good uh, sample. Registered voters is a little bit better, but you have to understand that anywhere from 30 to 50 percent of those people will show up to vote. And on midterms, it's probably closer to 30. So you have to be skeptical. Likely voters is probably a better measurement. I think if you do a poll of likely voters, you're more likely to get a... Uh, a sample of people who are actually going to vote. Now, this Wall Street Journal uh, NBC poll is registered voters, and they have two very interesting bits of information. The first one is they give President Trump an approval rate of 45%. This came about a week or so after the Russia and the family controversy down on the border. 45% is, at least in this poll, the best that President Trump has done before. He's, he's really, if you look at most of the polling data, he's anywhere from 45 to 49, sometimes 50. So he's been in the high 40s for much of, uh, of 2018. So that poll at 45 is consistent with some of the other polls. And that's a pretty good number, really. He, it, he was about 46, I think, on the day that he was elected in November 2016. The other interesting bit of information that came out of the poll is that at least according to the people who were polled in, in this particular one, they, there was a sense that the Democrats are out of the mainstream. There was like a majority of the voters who were saying that the Democrats are out of their mainstream, particularly in the Congress. Now, despite that, it still showed the Democrats, I think, uh, winning the generic vote by 7 to 10 uh, or something like that. But I thought it was interesting that the voters would say that the Democrats are out of the mainstream uh, when it came to issues and I think that's it's an interesting number because we've heard a lot of concern from moderates in the Democrat Party that maybe there's a little bit too much of a leftist uh, movement, if you will, from some of their candidates. But again, interesting poll, certainly from the standpoint of President Trump, but I think it's a good poll. And I think it, I think it really shows once again how ineffective this daily hysteria about President Trump has been. It just seems like the more they beat up President Trump, the more that he bounces back or holds on to his base. So uh, at least as far as uh, the polling data, it does not seem to be hurting President Trump uh, much at all. Well, thank you for watching. We have all of these over on YouTube. We have them on Twitter and we have them on my blog. And if July 24th is your birthday, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.